In this beginner's tutorial, I'll show you how to make this very simple model of a monkey robot. In the view menu, toggle quad view. The disadvantage of having four windows is that the windows are small. The advantage for a beginner is that they can see what's going on from the different angles. Add mesh monkey use the tip of the blue arrow to move the monkey up drag on the edge to make the properties window wider click the material button click the new material button the specular color is the color in the highlighted region the diffuse color is the normal color of the object click the diffuse color drag the dot in the color wheel to make an orangey color drag to darken it to make a brown Name the material Head. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the cube. With a mouse pointer near to the cube, press S to scale. And notice that the scale factor is displayed in the bottom left hand corner. Press Z to only scale in the Z axis direction and scale to a factor of approximately 1.4. With the mouse pointer in the right view, press S to scale and Y for the Y axis and squash the cube by a factor of approximately 0.4. The cube has a default material, rename it body and set the diffuse color to a bluey green. Select the head, zoom in in the right view. You can drag anywhere on the blue arrow to move the head down, but this time I'm going to use the shortcut key for translate, which is G. Press G to grab the monkey's head, Z for the Z direction only, and move the head down onto the body. Add mesh cylinder. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the cylinder to the side. Press S to scale and shrink the cylinder down till it is slightly thinner than the body. Press S to scale, Z for the Z direction and stretch the cylinder till it is slightly shorter than the body. Click the Add New Material button, click Diffuse, drag the dot down to make a red colour and name the material Arm. To duplicate the arm, the shortcut key is Shift and D. Hold down the Shift key, press D and Enter and use the tip of the red arrow to move the arm to the other side. Click the Object Properties button so we can see changes in the properties as we make them. Press R to rotate the arm and notice that the angle of rotation is displayed in the bottom left hand corner. Rotate the arm by an angle of roughly 30 degrees and use the tip of the red arrow to move the arm in. Select the other arm, press R to rotate and rotate by an angle of roughly minus 30 degrees and use the tip of the red arrow to move that arm in. Add Mesh Cylinder. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the cylinder to the side. Press S to scale and shrink the cylinder down till it is slightly thinner than the body. Press S to scale, Z for the Z direction and stretch the cylinder till it is roughly the same length as the body. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the leg down tip of the red arrow to move it across and the tip of the blue arrow to fine tune the position of the leg. To duplicate the leg hold down shift and press D and enter. The simplest way to place the duplicate leg is to select the X location and put a minus sign in front of it. Click the Material button, click the New Material button, click the Diffuse Color, 
drag the dot to make a blue color and name the material leg select the other leg click the browse material button and select the leg material I'm going to perform a join operation to join all the mesh objects together to form a single model a join cannot be easily undone so it's important before doing the join to save and after doing the join to save as with a different file name click the object properties button drag down on the edge of the window to open up the outliner window in the scene we have a cube for the body four cylinders for the arms and legs and a monkey head called Susan to select multiple objects hold down the shift key select the arms and legs and finally select the body click the join button and now in the scene we have a single mesh object called cube I'm going to rename that monkey robot that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye.